What's up guys, welcome back. I'm here with my dad and we are actually on our way into town to do some training. Um, since today is an overspeed day, it doesn't take as much time. And I figured what I'd do is I'd take you along with and teach you how to do the horizontal ring bubbles since you guys have all been asking for it. So uh, we'll see you at the pool. You also made it notice a little difference in the framing. This video will be shot entirely on the GoPro Hero 6. So, shout out to GoPro. Welcome to my office. We always train in this outside lane. It's pretty nice. It's almost always empty for us, and whenever there is someone in there, they they kind of know who we are, so they let us let us swim in here, which is good. speed before I get to teaching the bubbles which I'll do at the end of the practice day um, but what we do to warm up every single practice is we swim a couple of lengths um, just to feel good and then we go into what we do is underwater so we go and we do 10 25s to the 15 meter mark underwater holding a certain time what we want to hold with only like 15 seconds rest so not a lot but it's really good warms up the legs gets the body going kind of loosens the shoulders out and then we get up and we're gonna do the races off the blocks Overspeed is basically what trains me for the 50 free, 50 fly, 50 breast, 50 back, all the 50s because it's overspeed, it's all out. Um, we do it off the blocks. We have a friend, Carl Krug, who developed this block which kind of fits onto any sort of platform. Uh, it's called Swim Innovations, really, really cool. So this is what helps me um, train as if I'm at a competition because it's got the wedge and take it anywhere with me because most blocks here in Kansas don't have the wedge or a wedge. Um, so it trains us specifically but we're gonna do six freestyle and then three breaststroke, three butterfly. Right, Dad? Yep. So 12 over speed, 25s all out. Um, as much rest as you need in between each set. And then at the end, we will do the horizontal bubble rings. for some horizontal bubbles. So there's a few things that you need to know. One, breath control is everything. So if you can't hold your breath, really work on that. Um, there's a link in the description to Wim Hof breathing. This is a method of breathing that I do, which is actually what helps me go no breath in the 50 free. Um, but ultimately, breath control is gonna help you be able to stay down longer and form better bubbles. Second thing is when you go down, when you blow the air, it's really small. It's a little breath, tiny, What's forming the bubble isn't the breath, especially on the horizontal bubbles, it's more what the hands are doing, okay? So with your hands, you can go in any position. I just put my knuckles kind of in line with each other. From here, you put your lip about a centimeter away from your hands, okay? And then when you pop on the air, you pull with your hands out and your hands go off to the side. That's what forms the bubble and you'll see it when we go underwater. Knuckles inside each other. Step two is getting your hands close to your mouth so that when you breathe, all you do is you open your hands up to the side. The idea is that your hands, when you push the air out, you go up. It's a small pop, you push the air out, your hands, or your knuckles catch that water, and with the motion of your hands, that's what creates the ring. Okay? It's different to being on your back and doing the vertical bubbles because the vertical bubbles. What you're doing is you're blocking your nose and you're sticking your tongue out so that when you pull, when you blow the air and you pull your tongue in, that creates 
the bubble. Okay, so it's a lot different going on the side. When you're doing a horizontal bubble, it's the hands that create the bubble. When you're doing a vertical bubble from the bottom of the pool, it's the tongue and mouth that really creates the bubble. So it's really cool. And if you get really good, you can get to a point where the bubble will go like 15, 20 feet underwater. Or you can do the same thing going down to the bottom of the pool. One more point before we go is you have to also realize that the timing of when the hands pull out to the timing of the breath is really important. So you want to make sure you aren't moving your hands before the air comes out or too far after the air comes out. So it's got to be timed perfectly. And that's something you figure out the more you do it. That's it. That's basically how you do horizontal bubbles. A little sneak peek at how you do the vertical bubbles. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, let me know down in the comments if this helped you guys out. Um, and also, if you post a video of you doing the horizontal or vertical bubbles, be sure to tag me and I'll leave a comment and like. Love to see your guys' stuff. Have a good one. Cheers for now.